Watch the defense, right on them, good pressure. And I There's one. There's one. What's up, y'all? Thank you for checking out Hoop Study YouTube. Please like and subscribe. We're going to do our best to share as much valuable content for you all. So please drop a like button and subscribe so we can keep sharing valuable content and let's keep working and getting better, y'all. What's up, everybody? DJ Sackman here. Welcome to Hoop Study. Today, I'm going to give you three different drills where you can master the sidestep. Part one with this segment, we're gonna start the second hash and we're gonna focus on getting from the hash out to the elbow. So that's your accountability, just so you know that you're actually creating space at home. So we're gonna start with the basketball in your right hand every time. If you're a lefty, start with the ball in your left hand. I'm gonna get into it through the legs. As the ball's at the left hip, I'm bringing my right foot under my hip, and then I wanna step left, right. And that's when I'll gather the ball, and then I'll get back to that same exact action. So I'm right hand again, I'm through, right, left, right through, right, left, right, and then I'll get into my shot, regroup, go again. I wanna make three with that segment, then I'll go to the midline and get two reps, I'll make three, and then I'll make it a little more game-like and make three, so it's nine total shots. Let's get to work. There's one. Hanging a little bit. Two. Three. This is just to know that you're creating space. All right, if you don't hold yourself accountable at all, you're not gonna be really sure if you're actually getting anywhere. Now we'll start the midline, I go two times. One, three makes. Two, one more. Three, I'll make it a little more real. Two, three. Now, you understand the movement a little bit, so because you were forced to actually create space with those nine reps, now you feel it, all right? So I know now at home that you all were actually bringing that inside foot under your hip and you were pushing back to create a little bit of separation. So now let's make it a little bit more real. I'm going to start outside the three-point line. Right to left hand, second drill. When I go through the legs now, I'm slightly gonna lift my body here, and then I'm gonna slide my right foot under my hip after I lift. So it's gonna be a lift. I wanna step inside the three-point line and then step back and shoot a three. So from accountability standpoint, you are lifting outside the three-point line, your right foot stepping inside the three-point line, you're pushing back, and you gather as you push your body back. That's when you pick the basketball up. Let's get it. There's one. I got 10 makes with this segment now. There's two. It's gotta be a bang bang with the timing of the pickup. There's one. Remember, for accountability standpoint, I'm stepping, trying to step inside the three point line right now. Shorty. Nope. Three more. Lifting first. Lift. Step, two, oh. 
Ah, that's off. Nope. Now, let's talk a little bit in the segment about why this movement works. So, when I get into my lifts, if coach is guarding me here, and if I can shoot off these, off the dribble, off of like isolation, it's gonna be very effective because when I go here and lift, my defender starts to go back as you saw coach just do. So, as I get into that movement, if I'm hanging and at the last second I get here, from a defensive standpoint, he's not gonna step forward at me and then try to contest. His feet are there, and since I'm gonna go up to shoot, he's almost forced to contest me from where he's grounded. So again, if he's guarding here like this, and I lift and he starts to slide here, he's forced to contest from there. And that's why this action works, is because it gives you that little bit of a space that you need. So again, it would look like here, where I'm through, I step and you can see I have some space here and he's almost forced to lift and contest from that point. Now, that being said, it's important with this action that your timing is there. If you step a little bit too early, you might not get him to start to push back, all right? If you step way too late, you're gonna give him some more time to obviously contest. So you wanna be here, read it as if you're put picking up here and then that last second we go, and now he's grounded, and he can get into his attack. So we'll make it more game-like from the wing now. And I'm just coming down, a little bit more movement forward. I lift, hang the ball, and then I step back. I go five makes here, then we'll switch spots. Let's get it. better. Notice the timing. Deep. One more. Ah. <sighs> 